Um, so there seems to be MacBooks. So about a year ago, I bought a MacBook Air 11 inch, maybe two years ago, brand new. First laptop I ever bought. This is not it. It's just the same form factor. I decided that I was going to sell the new one because you couldn't get parts for it. It was hard to work on. Everything soldered to the motherboard, blah, 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 whatever. So I wound up selling that one and buying an older one, which is this one here. This is a MacBook Pro. It's a little bit chunkier, as you can see. But it has ports, SD card reader, all that good stuff. Problem is, this thing is heavy. And it's really an issue to pick this thing up with one hand and move it around. So after using this thing for like a year, it works okay for video editing. It's probably not the most ideal thing in the world, but it worked. But after using it for about a year, I realized, okay, I need to switch back to a MacBook Air. So I was looking around trying to find one that had decent specs. There's a recycler I go to. And, uh, you know, they occasionally have stuff for inexpensive. Well, I ran across this thing. This one was like $150. It's got uh, an i5 processor in it, but it only has two gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. So <laughs> this is basically an iPad with a keyboard. I put a nice little case on it. Oh, that was the other thing too, is this thing had a bunch of eng laser engraving on the case. So it was a little bit, well, they couldn't sell it for much. So I put a 64 gig uh, flash drive in it and this works just for like basic web surfing, emailing, stuff like that. Well, this is the one that I got for free and also got paid to do data recovery on it. It was pretty heavily banged up, but this is actually what I was looking for. I was able to get a new logic board for it and since the processor and RAM is soldered to the logic board, I went ahead and got one off of eBay that had maximum specs. Haswell dual core i7 with hyper threading and eight gigs of RAM. And this has 256 gigs of NVMe flash storage on it. So all I had to do was basically get a new back cover for the thing, replace the trackpad cable, and it has some war wounds here. This is a great conversation starter. I call that extra airflow. But this thing is great for video editing. As you can see, I'm actually doing editing on it now. So this thing I'm probably going to sell. It's cool and all and it works and you can do light video editing as long as you're not doing color grading and stuff like that. I got a nice little case on it and stuff, but I don't need this thing anymore. It's too big and heavy. Um, so it's probably going to go. This is just a novelty. This is another, well, sort of another computer that I got to do data recovery on. I had another one of these things laying around that... I don't know, I, I had Windows 7 installed on it, but I was just like, I have no use for it whatsoever. Oh, by the way, this one has a DVD burner. This one also has a DVD burner. MacBook Airs, no DVD burners, obviously. But this is a Core 2 Duo with four gigs of RAM. Uh, so back in the day, this was pretty hot stuff. But the thing still works. It has a battery that holds a charge. This, I have absolutely no idea what to do with. Um, I mean, I would sell it, but like, I mean, look at all these ports it has. It's got FireWire 400, FireWire 800, full-size Ethernet, MagSafe, USBs, line in and out. Kensington security slot, don't need that, but... And a freaking DVD burner. So, I don't know. It'd be nice to have something with a DVD burner. Although, if I'm going to go that route, I have a Mac Pro sitting over here with a DVD burner in it. <laughs> so, these two should probably go. Um... But this has an old school version. I think it's got Mountain Lion on it, maybe. But anyways, um, so that's my brief history of MacBooks. The thing boots up and works, and I mean, you can, like, do stuff with it. But, uh, yeah, anyways. I'm not an addict, I swear.